Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas. I'm going to do a traveling open cup pour and I have this little bottom of a cup that I have made up here. I have my base coat down and it's Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White and then I did add some um, Amsterdam grayish blue to that. I just love this color. So I thought I'd make that my base coat today. The balance of my paints are, first one is a combination of folk art, treasure gold, their regular gold, and I, then I added a dab of the deco art 24 karat gold to that. Extreme sheen 24 karat gold. And I am going to just use the Amsterdam titanium white Next, I have Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents. They're copper penny. Real pretty copper uh, color. And my last paint, no, my second and my last paint is the Amsterdam Oxide Black. And my last color is um, similar to the color that used to be called Mysterious. And it is made up of four different paints. And I'll show you consistency right away. It's the Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue um, Color Shift Flash Black Pebio Dyna. That's their um, iridescent blue green. And it has one more paint. Oh, yes, golden uh, fluid acrylic turquoise. Those four colors together make up this color called Mysterious. Okay, my um, pouring medium today is seven parts mix, one part paint. And I did thin my paints. I would say I gave them a good, like, five squirts of water to thin them down because I do want the paint to travel here on my canvas. No silicone use today. So I'm just gonna give this a quick torch. This is my favorite pour. Just have a lot of fun with it. And I do like the effects that the mix gives. So I'm gonna just start, let's start up here. Just gonna put down a little puddle of my base coat here for my cup. And I may be helping this cup along here and there and twisting it just to try to get some different effects. So let's just start laying down the paint here in my cup. Some of that black. This copper penny is not a real brassy kind of copper. That's why I like it. It's more of a middle of the range. Lastly, we'll add the gold. Again, this is not a real uh, bright gold either, more of a muted gold. You can see the paint coming out from under my cup there. And I will just help my cup along here a little bit. See how I'm turning it. Really do like these colors. And I'm not sure I'm going to be using all my paints here because 
I always try to get negative space, but I think my problem is I just use too much paint. I'm gonna help it down here a little bit more. And while I'm doing that, I can tell you that we do have an Etsy shop, and the link to our Etsy shop is in the description. So feel free to go there and see what paintings we have available. And I am in the near future going to be restocking that Etsy shop. We do work on commissions also. So if you see something that I do, but you like, you would like different colors, that's always the possibility. Again, my um, contact information is, is in the description. I really do like this mis mysterious color. So pretty. I'm just gonna tip the canvas here a little bit just to help that paint out. More copper. A little more gold here. Give it another help. Give it a little twist. Just a little bit more paint and I think I will be done. And I'll end with the copper. Okay. Just going to let that run right off there. Okay, move my paints out of the way here. And I do have cells popping up. Quite a few cells. Okay, I'm gonna give a little torch before we start uh, tipping the paint.
Let's see what we get with tipping here. And I'm not going to add any more base coat with the tip. There's plenty of paint on this canvas. I'm hoping you're seeing most of this tipping going on here. Just going to bring it back now. And pull some of that off up at the top. Okay, and now I'll turn the canvas so you can see what's going on. I'm going to tip it this way somewhat. And then over to this, towards this corner here. going to pull a little bit of that off. Okay. I'm going to turn it this way. I do like that I have some negative space left here. Just taking a look at it now. I really like the boldness of this black in here and around these cells. I think what I'm going to do is just tip a little bit this way to stretch out that paint just a little bit. See what kind of effects we can get. Okay, and I'm going to bring it back. Okay, I'm really liking everything I'm seeing here. Beautiful. I think I'm going to just tip it a little this way and then bring it back. Now I will bring it back. Just trying to open it up a little bit. And I may run some down that way a little bit. 
it's okay that I'm running off some of those little cells there. Okay, I'm going to take another look at it. And I just did blab on it. I will take my skewer and fix that. Try and blend it in. And while I'm at it, I might take my skewer and put it in my black paint. And I may just want to run this black line all the way up here just to have the eye have something a little extra to look at. Just a very thin line. And then continue it down. And I, might, I may try that over here too. After your painting is dry, you can also add those final touches if you'd like with acrylic markers or pens. I just think it looks nice when you add a little something. You're kind of outlining it. And I'm going to do that over here too on this edge. And over here where I do have some of that black coming through. It's always fun to play with your painting. And I'm also going to bring it over here and just define this line a little crisper. And also in here, I'm going to add this line. Okay, I think I'll give it a torch and then we'll get you down for a close-up. Okay, everybody, we're going in for our close-up now. Off camera, I did do a few more lines just to accentuate areas here and there, but this is the upper left-hand corner. Again, this is a 16 by 20 inch cam canvas. I really like this area in here. I think the colors are beautiful in there, especially in this area here. Just coming down the left hand side, lower left hand corner. Here's a couple of the lines that I did uh, make that black a little bit bolder. I think that's really nice how that black surrounded all these little cells here. Just 
black in that area is so pretty too. I don't use black very often, but I'm glad I did in this painting. Here we are just going down the middle. I think what really added to this painting too is that base coat color of that grayish blue and how I, uh, I have some here and there, just something for the eye to look at. And here's a nice plain area also. This painting has a lot going on for it. It's got busy areas and then plain areas. It's a lot to see. This is another area that I like. I pointed these little cells out before where the black is around them. Pretty up in this corner too. This is the upper right hand corner here. We'll just go down the right hand side. I'm glad these colors played so well together. And here's the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you'll know the next time that I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't. That would truly help my channel. I hope you enjoyed this time with me today and this video. Let me know if you have any questions. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.